I'm just pleased that you decided to spend your day here with us to transform your life and have the courage to follow your dreams and your passions. Not tomorrow, but today. wake me up from a sound sleep in the middle of the night and I could tell you not only who they are but who they are to me. Oprah's list of honorees <coughs> mirrored my own personal most admired list from Maya Angelou to Nancy Wilson <coughs> and just reading their names stirred up a lifetime's worth of memories. And um, I just decided one day after getting this amazing scholarship to Eastern Michigan University that I was going to take my Pell Grant money after we saw Dead Poet Society and we knew it was Seize the Day, Carpe Diem, do it while you're young, we're going to L.A. You know? Every now and then I would see Ruby Dee um, in movies that she was in in the 50s and this spark just ignited in me. You know that thing when <clears throat> Something happens, and we've all talked about it today, when I call it God, deposits your purpose mm -hmm. in your spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's just the fact, it's unfortunate, it's very unfortunate, it's going for. but it's just the fact that we, or networks, make more money off of our pain, off of our struggles, off of our adversity, mm -hmm. than they make off of our successes and our character. American television is working. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good thing. That probably will open the door for a variety, for diversity of stories. I don't think that everything is going to be approved by the NAACP. <laughs> Yeah, but... Coaching came as a result of training for over 20 years, entrepreneurs, thousands of entrepreneurs on how to really run a successful business. However, 35% of those who've gone through our training put those business plans on the shelf because we walk them through a process. We call it the process of entrepreneurship. We help them put together a comprehensive business plan. And many of our students wrote this wonderful plan, put it on a shelf, why? You know why? They didn't believe what they had written. Blood's also moving into your lungs because that's part of the blood flow. It's going into your lungs, you're starting to breathe faster. It's coming back into your heart. Then it is going out through the aorta and it's going out through the whole body and it's circulating through your muscles. You feel muscle tension. It's going up into your brain. You get an awful headache. Every part of your body, if I was to go through each part of it, is now beginning to feel the stress of the stressor, whatever it was that caused you to get like this. I'm thinking about where I was emotionally that day. I was loving me. I was doing what I need to do every day in order to stay strong. And we know what happens as soon as we get busy. All the things that we learned today, all the things we heard today, those things go on the back burner. You know, when I gave up the editor-in-chief's title and became editorial director, I foolishly, and I don't really talk about this, had gone to the two of the four male founders of Essence. The other two had left the company, and I said, you know, I can't cope all of this. I can't hold all of this with the internet, which, you know, the, the content is, is needed every single day. I need a new position. I gave my power away. I was asking them to create a position for me when I knew I had the power in essence. 
I'm a humble person. But stay humble, but know when you have power. <laughs> know when you can ask for what you need. Know you, when you can ask for what you want. And so I said to them, you have to create a new position for me. And they said, okay, we were at a conference, walking around the lake. They never got back to me, ever. And you know what, I was waking up in the morning and my eye was jumping, knots in my stomach, leaping into, because I didn't come to Essence with all the credentials that most of you have. I didn't come with a college degree. I came with a high school diploma to Essence and a commercial one in that. I wanted to be an actress, that's a whole other story. Living with Field was so amazing. But you know what, fine, you have. I wasn't a good actress. I didn't know that I was a good writer because I'd write my own performance pieces. And then I would go and I would get the job. And then I found myself understudying Paula Kelly in a three-act play on Broadway, never got the inane part in my head. And I said, if this woman ever got sick, it would be a disaster in the blue thing. And I remember saying to God, if you let me out of this one, promise I'm going to do what's in my heart. Follow your passion. Don't want to be Oprah. You know, don't want to be Sonia Young. Be you. Whatever is beating in your heart, God put it there and will give you everything you need to realize that you have to partner with God. You have to awaken every day with a plan. You just can't leap out of bed. This is what I was doing. It's not about you, it's about them. What you have to attend to is your relationship with spirit, your relationship with God. So no matter how you may try to disrespect me, you can't disrespect me unless I allow you to. I can step away from you. And nobody can melt somebody quicker than a black woman. My grandmother didn't even have to open her mouth. All she did was put her hand on her hip or her, her big behind and just look at me. You want a peach? All she did was ask if I wanted a peach. It was over. We don't need to go there because every time you meet somebody at that place, it takes you five hours to calm down from you. Ego behind us. That's what we heard today. Remembering you are made in the image and likeness of the love that created you, the ritual. The ritual is get up in the morning and say thank you. Put a smile on your face. Smile, thank you. Thank you for my life. Anybody in here not sighted? Anybody here blind? Raise your hand. Oh, we can all see. Ah, <gasps> what a gift. It's a gift to be able to see. Anybody in a wheelchair? Nobody in a wheelchair. And if you are, flap your wings. You have to exercise every day. We can see, we can move, we can roll up our sleeves, we can envision a world, and we can build it. And when you have a big vision, we need a big vision. Not a little vision, don't have a little vision. Kill the little vision. And not, we don't need another thousand nonprofits. Link arms and aims and let's build together. We have to feel that residual of slavery that keeps us from working well to, with each other. We have to learn how to do that. Out of bed and into my work, I jump. Hold, wanting to divorce my husband. I'm married to the best man I know. Kefra Burns, there is none better than my baby. Mm -hmm. like, when you come at home, honey. I mean, Kefra, I'm saying to y'all, look beyond the accoutrement. You know, I have sisters tell me all the time, yeah, I'm looking for somebody, but I have to be equally yoked. I'm like, well, I grew up Catholic. I don't know the Bible like that. What's equally yoked? What do you mean equally yoked? Oh, like, well, I need somebody who's making some money and who's not splitting his vert. You need somebody who's gonna love you for who you are on the inside. You want somebody who's gonna love you when you're 85 years old and can't reach back there to wipe your own behind and he's gonna do it for you. You want somebody to love you for who you are. Not because he, you know, we don't want to do to men what they do to us. We're not gonna be forever fine, firm, 22. 